Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm doing an updated guide for the installation of native controls for Dragon Age Inquisition. You may know that I already have a video out for this, but I was missing a couple of key important steps. Um, and so this is just a tidy up of that video. Um, I'm sorry if you've noticed I've had a couple of these. I've already done one for um, Dragon Age, Dragon Age, for uh, Oblivion. And uh, now I'm doing the uh, Dragon Age Inquisition one. It's just me wanting to make sure that the videos are tidier because I end up with a lot of questions on why I'm missing files, like some of you guys are missing files or, you know, like it doesn't, it's not as smooth of an operation as it should be. So this is just me trying to tidy up that um, guide a little bit. And it, fundamentally it's still the same, but it's just done in a much simpler manner. So if you've already seen that video and you've already got it working, you're not really gonna get anything from this, but it's there for the new new users who want to jump into Dragon Age Inquisition before Dreadwolf. Who the hell is excited for that? Cause I certainly am. Um, more to talk about Dreadwolf soon. I may even have to do a little recap on uh, Dragon Age 1 and 2 for Steam Deck and then um, get ready for Dreadwolf. All right, on with the tutorial. If you find this video really helpful, please give me a sub or a like. I realize this channel is a guides video, so you're not always going to want to sub to a channel that does random video guides, but hey, I, I got to ask. Anyway, get, let's get into video now. First steps first is that you need to download the game. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory, you need the game flat. But um, the reason I'm putting this here is, uh, again, this is something new that's come to light since my first video is make sure you load the game up first, okay? That's, um, I think, a really good first step is load the game up on standard Proton, okay? Don't, don't jump in um, to the next stage uh, without making sure you've at least loaded the game up and logged into your EA account first. Um, as you can see here, it takes a wee while, but make sure that you do that because otherwise um, I, we found a few people were having trouble if they went straight on to the new Proton layer without first signing into the EA account. And I want to make a disclaimer here, whenever EA updates their EA account, there's always a high chance that it breaks this Proton Lab, but the guys that work on this seem to update it pretty regularly. Like I just downloaded it yesterday and they'd only updated it last week. So they do keep on top of it, but that's just something to be aware of um, is that um, whenever EA updates their app, there's a high chance it breaks this and you'll have to wait for a replacement one. Um, so Keep that in mind, but make sure you least load the game up once with your save intact, uh, with your save, with your uh, account logged in. And then we'll be on to step two. Once you've logged into Dragon Age, head over to desktop mode by pushing the Steam button and heading over to desktop. Once we're here, we're gonna head over to the Discover Store, which should be in your bottom uh, toolbar. And you're gonna wanna search for Proton Up as you'll see me doing here. And so this application, um, yep, there we are, Proton Up QT. We want to download that. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us our file structure so we don't have to make the folders to put the custom Proton layer in. So what we're going to do is we're just going to download the standard GE Proton. Um, and this may come in handy for other games too. So it's not actually a bad thing to have installed, but just click on here and then just install, which is in the middle button and make sure it's the latest Proton GE um, and give that a go. I'm not going to download it because I already have it installed. And then once we've done that, we're going to head over to the Proton, uh, the Dragon Age Inquisition Proton layer that we want. Um, I'll have a link to this in the description below. And so, what you want to do is when you get to this page, um, GitHub's a bit odd to search, but what you want is it's going to be on the right hand side here and it's going to have releases and you're going to see here last week was their latest update. So you just want to click on that and then scroll down until you see the folder that we're after, which is this one here. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're just going to click on that and download it. 
that it won't take long at all. And then once we have that, we're on to our next step, which is putting it in the folder where it belongs. Once that's downloaded, we're gonna to wanna to head to our, to our folder file and you'll see I'm on home. And then we're gonna go up to these top three lines here and we're gonna go show hidden files, okay? That's really important. Otherwise, you're not gonna find the dot steam folder, which is where we are going to go. So home and dot steam, okay? And you'll just have to have a little search till you find it. And then from here, we're gonna go into steam. And then from in this folder, you're gonna see compatibility tools, okay? And that is the one we want. You can see where Proton um, GE has been installed that we downloaded from Proton Up QT. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new tab from our downloads folder where we've downloaded the Dragon Age um, Proton layer and we're gonna cut this. So pulling the left trigger and cutting. And then we're gonna put that in our compatibility tools here. And then we're going to extract it, okay? By again, pulling the left trigger and extracting here. This won't take too long. This will zippity do uh, out of here in no time. And that's done. We can delete this by right tricking and move to trash. All right, next step. Right, load up Steam on desktop mode and go to your Dragon Age Inquisition. Go down to... Uh, the uh, properties and compatibility force and then you're gonna see it's not here right it's missing that D dragon age inquisition proton it's not in here so my recommendation is to then right click on the steam icon down the bottom here and exit okay usually this is the easiest way to get it to show up steam just needs a reset and then we will log back into steam and hopefully it will show up. I'm gonna leave this all in in real time so you um, can see that this is how I've done it and you guys can just follow along as best you can. Head over to our library, right click on Dragon Age or go to the cog, properties, compatibility, force, and there we are, it popped up straight away, right? We are sorted, so from here, we can actually just, you could play it from here, which I do here, but you can just head straight back to desktop mode, which is where we're going to continue our story. And I'll see you back. Once so back in game mode, make sure you go into the controller option in game mode and make sure that Dragon Age is on gamepad support and not on a custom layer from the community or community layout because we don't need that anymore and if you leave it on you're going to end up with some wonky controls or it not working and you're going to get really confused as to why it's not working so please make sure to change that over to standard um, gamepad controls and then let the game load up and then once it loads up the next step will be you've got to change it over to gamepad um, and so on the main menu, when it says push play or, or we'll click to start, just hold the steam button and then pull the left trigger and it should count as a left click. Um, if it doesn't work straight away, use the right trackpad along with holding the steam button and then click somewhere on the screen with the mouse, as I think I do here. And then it will eventually log you in. Once we get there, it takes its sweet time. I wish they got rid of the server logins for this game. It makes no sense to me. Anyway, yeah, so I'm just using, um, holding the Steam button and using the right trackpad along with the right and uh, trigger to click. And then we go over to gamepad here and then we go accept. And now we should have full controller support. Um, the not d-pad in this menu so if it's not working try you make sure you're using the analog stick okay and then you should be away laughing and voila we now have dragon age inquisition working with proper controller support and i just want to say thanks for watching this enjoy your afternoon enjoy some dragon age inquisition before dreadwolf and we'll see you in the next video thanks guys